look! Red eyes? Golden coat? It's Goldapen, all right. And she's even got that... quirk. Be careful. If what we heard is true, she can use those four great spirits in battle. Uh, see? She's drooling. Does that mean she thinks we look tasty? Does that mean she's a man-eating Pengyon? Wait! Don't fight! Hey! It's Jude! No matter how much Mila loves to eat, she'd never attack a person without a good reason. Huh? Wait. This Pengyon isn't Mila. Are you all right? When I got your message, I ran all the way here without stopping to eat or drink. That's enough. When will you people learn to leave this Pengyon alone? Hunting for food, I could understand. But I won't allow you to take this creature's life on some flimsy notion of bad omens. If you want the Pengyons, you'll have to fight me first! Who the hell are you? I'm Mila Maxwell, and I'm the protector of Pengyons! You broke me! Here's your justice! By what? order! No mercy! Wounds that will be part of the earth! Now, with a single breath, they appear! Here they come! There's no stopping them now! Good! Oh. Here, Kelly! You broke me! Here's your justice! By the order! Cry thunder! Oh. Oh. You can dodge, just try! Perfect mayhem! What? Killing flash! But I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Shankar! Resound! Arrive! Become the blade of destruction! Blood bond! Killing flash! But I'm this close, I won't miss! Form zero! Thunder! Ready to die? Whatever comes next! This is just the first step! To kill you! Howling dragon! Oh. You're strong. You know your way around a sword. As do you. I can see that Jude wasn't exaggerating when he called you the Lord of Spirits. Jude? Do you know him? I've been looking all over for him. He's right there. Oh, Jude! Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're safe. Mila, you can tell it's me? Of course I can. You're a lot smaller on the outside, but you're still you on the inside. <laughs> Thanks, Mila. That being said, I haven't exactly had an easy time in this form. Hmm. Yes, I can see how it might have given you some trouble. <laughs> Leia and Elise would probably be worried sick, and Alvin would tease you mercilessly. I think there's a way I can change back. When I fought these guys before, I was somehow able to do it. You fought them? So they really are a bunch of no-good Pengyon abusers. We're not, I swear. It's all a misunderstanding. It's okay, Mila. They're the ones who told me where to find you, and they're not Pengyon abusers. Oh, all right then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to go jumping to the wrong conclusions about you. Everyone, thank you so much for reaching out to me. No need to thank us. We just did the same as anybody would. I'm glad you found your friend. However, both of you are still stuck here. It's fine. The two of us will figure something out. We'll get Jude back to his normal self and find our way home to Riza Maxia. Yeah. Oh, do you want to come along too? 
You know this Pengyon? Yeah, for some reason I've taken quite a liking to him. Something about him just feels familiar. <laughs> I suppose so. They're gone. Is it really okay to let them leave? What do you say, Aizen? Do you think Mila is connected to the Empyreans? No. Her arts felt fundamentally different from the ones we Malakim use. Agreed. I think I might actually believe they came from another world. In that case, we can let them be. Since she took down that exorcist, I don't think we need to worry about her joining forces with the Abbey. Yeah, but couldn't she still join our side? I wonder. I feel like she might be a bit out of our league. I don't know. I think you two have more in common than you'd care to admit. We should leave them be. Besides, if they came with us, Eleanor might try to eat Jude. I would not!